So here I'm using the 14 times loop on the on the smartphone, and uh, just because of the positioning here, I'm just leaning the smartphone on the table. What you'll notice in that most recent photo is that part of the initial A is in focus and part of it isn't. And that's really the properties of a macro lens. In the earlier segment, I explained how macro lenses were originally designed to take the eyeball of an insect or some pollen off of a flower. And usually those small items are in focus, whereas the rest of everything else is blurry.